Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. I don't have a kid, and I'm singing baby shark all day. I didn't prepare. Did you? I did not prepare for Nano Rimo, and I felt so much stress all of October. So much stress for no reason at all. Like, why should it be stressful? This is just a goal for yourself. There's no teacher who's looking at it. There's no one who's looking at it. This is just a goal for you. Anyway. Hi, I'm going to be vlogging in the month of November and I'll be vlogging my experience in writing a project that I have chosen. I usually call the books projects, like a writing project, to make it sound more serious. I want to introduce it today, but before I introduce it, if you are registered on the NaNoWriMo website, please come and find me. On there, I am Nappy Brain, N-A-P-P-Y-B-R-A-I-N, and it's one word. Come and find me. And let's be friends. I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I came to the story that I'm going to be writing, because I think that's fairly interesting. I love backstories. In the late 2000s, Baden and I were living in Toronto, and there was a lady who was living in our high-rise building. Her name is Rachel Lee, and she actually has a YouTube channel. I will put it in the description box below. She's doing some really amazing work with young people in the performing arts in Toronto. Amazing. If you are in Toronto, please go and see some of the work that she is doing. So she held a class, a monologue class. It was very, very challenging because I can stand up and speak. I have no problems with public speaking, and I have no problems performing on the stage. I don't have any problems with that, but for some reason translating my writing into a performance became a difficult thing it was so weird but it also made me appreciate what screenwriters have to do to novels in order to make a written work into a movie or a play or something but one of the days she gave us homework and she gave us this picture and she sent us on our way and it was just a little boat it was colored blue and red and it was sitting at the shore half of it would you know was being lapped by the the small waves of the water and the rest of it was on the sand and in the distance you could see an island and that was very curious to me I actually ended up writing two separate stories for that particular picture my stories always end up sci-fi or fantasy it doesn't matter I will start with the most innocuous thing but oh my god that's where my brain lives and I I don't want to resist it. <laughs> I love where it goes. I ended up writing this one story that really stayed with me and stayed with Baden. It's definitely what I'm going to be working on this November. So during Preptober, I just panicked and panicked and panicked. I thought maybe I need to change the project that I'm working on because how am I going to get to the end of this? And it's not compelling enough. How do I make it compelling? I had the opportunity to read it finally, and I thought, okay, okay, I can work with this. I have not plotted, and I'm not doing the panster thing ever again. It always ruins my stories. I always find that I don't know where to go. And there's so many paths to go in that I end up getting confused, and I abandon the project. So instead of doing that, I'm going to be plotting. Some of the work that I'm going to be doing this morning is plotting. Later on, on then I will go ahead thankfully and I am so grateful for this thankfully I do not have difficulty writing words I know where I want the story to end and I kind of sort of know where it is that I'm starting at and where the inciting event happens so I want to just fill in those gaps probably until this inciting event the other thing that has happened is I cannot find the original original story because after I wrote that I was like this can be a book so I went ahead and I wrote chapter one, I had started chapter two, but because I hadn't plotted it, I didn't know what was happening next. That's how this story got abandoned for something else. So I'm going to go downstairs to um, where the Windows computer is and see if I can get the text of the original story off of that computer, if it's even there, or off of some of the drives that are downstairs. So that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. I found the original story that I wrote and oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> It was when I still had a Windows machine and I could not afford the Microsoft suite. So instead I used, what was it called? Open desk? Open something, open something. 
and it uh, saved the files with a .odt, which Google Docs doesn't seem to know how to open, so it opens it like a PDF file. So I spent a few minutes transcribing my original words, and oh my God, it's like the plot is right there. I am so like, I am so jazzed. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and do that plotting right now. I'll first get myself a cup of tea and then I'll be back and I'll do some plotting. This is exciting! I'm so glad I found it. All right, I'm going to go plotting. So it is one minute after six o'clock and I have written 1,703 words or 1,703 words. And I am very, very pleased with myself. I did a bunch of plotting today and a bunch of figuring out who my main character is and who the other characters are that were introduced in this first chapter, chapter one. It was so difficult. I think I had such a difficult time at just free writing and not thinking about it because sometimes when I had to read back in order to find out where the story was going, I'd find myself editing and I'm trying so hard not to do that. So that was one of the difficult things for today. The other one was, I think I did not plan out all the scenes. I want to be able to, even though I do not put this into the story, is to be able to completely visualize the spaces in which the story is happening. So the scene. And I want to use the five different senses in order to lay it out properly for myself so that when I describe certain items, I can see them in my mind's eye and I um, am better able then to translate that into words for the story. So I have updated my word count on NaNoWriMo, and please again, if you are doing NaNoWriMo, even if you're not doing it this year, please find me on NaNoWriMo and let's be friends. I'd love to see what it is that you're doing and encourage you on your journey as well. All right, time to go to bed, I suppose, at six o'clock in the evening. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.